Hello everybody, this is CJ Wiley back with more adventures on the road. Being a road player for so many years and professional player, I got to travel around the world and especially around the country uh, gambling, I ran across a lot of underworld characters. And on the other hand, I've told some of those stories. I also met a lot of people uh, on the other end, a lot of police officers. Uh, I was in the nightclub business for many years and ended up having uh, probably 22 police officers and sheriffs working for me, especially when I was in the nightclub business there in Dallas. One of the most interesting people I met in the law enforcement happened from uh, being at my pool room one night and I was playing pool and in came a small group of two girls and three guys and I couldn't help but notice one of the women was just incredibly attractive, you know, really exotic, and uh, they started playing pool beside where I was playing. So anyway, after uh, a little while, I started talking with the group, and uh, they ended up quitting, and, and the girl came around and was watching me play. So I had, you know, a little conversation with her and got her phone number, and the next night I uh, gave her a call, and we agreed uh, to go out that Friday night, and there was just one uh, consideration that I had to make was I had to meet her parents before I could go out with her. She went to college there in Dallas, but she lived with her parents, and I didn't really ask any questions. I was okay with that, even though it's just kind of odd. You know, usually <laughs> you have to go out with a girl for a while before she wants you to meet her parents. And after I did, I realized why. I went up to their uh, door, knocked on the door, and, and the guy that opens the door is like six foot five, white guy, you know, burly, but, you know, really nice. He shakes my hand, his hand's like huge, and <laughs> he's got a grip that felt like it could crush me, and uh, so I started talking to him, a little small talk, she, she was getting ready at the time, so, uh, and he pretty quickly introduced himself as, as being a uh, sergeant with the police force. Which, you know, I understand. And I, you know, I quickly thought to myself that that was probably why he wanted to meet anybody that his daughter was going out with, you know, considering her level of attractiveness. You know, I, I really don't blame him. And I have always done well with parents and uh, always had older friends, so it wasn't a big deal. So next, his uh, wife came out, who was her mother, and, and she was a, uh, a black lady, you know, very attractive very nice. Before long, she introduced herself as being a lieutenant with the police force. <laughs> so now I've got her father that's like this six five massive man who's a sergeant, his wife who's a lieutenant. And, you know, we're just having a pleasant conversation. And it comes up that uh, she said that she was the only police officer in the history of Dallas, Texas, that had arrested a serial killer. Now that got my attention, you know. I've always, you know, been kind of interested in, in, you know, all kinds of, whether it be the mob or bank robbers or whatever, you know, as a kid, all that stuff is exciting and interesting. I think that's why a lot of people uh, like the pool hustling stuff, you know. Seeing the movie The Hustler was great for me and then The Color of Money. Of course, I was already doing that kind of stuff, so. It was, I looked at it with different eyes. So anyway, she goes to the bookshelf and gets a book and brings it over and shows it to me. And sure enough, it's a book about all these famous uh, serial killers that's been caught in the United States. And she opened up and showed me a picture of herself. And uh, who she caught was the eyeball murderer. And he was a... Uh, what was he, a music teacher in Plano, Texas, and she showed me a picture of him, and I mean, you would never in a million years guess this guy was a serial killer. I guess that's why he got away with it so long. I mean, he was just meek-looking, mild-mannered. He looked like a, a music teacher. That's exactly what he looked like. And um, she said that she found a, a bloody raincoat. She said she was undercover, and he was killing uh, these prostitutes. So she went undercover and was talking to a lot of these prostitutes. And they were scared to death, you know, because he was killing these 
women and, uh, and actually taken their eyes out, put them in a formaldehyde jar. I think you've probably seen that in a movie or two. I think the movie seven or one of those movies, uh, had that, but it was a real thing. And so she showed me in the book, a uh, picture of the raincoat that she found in a field and it had blood on it and they got the DNA off the raincoat and traced it to this music teacher in Plano and she went to his house and actually made the arrest and I was like wow that <laughs> that was that was fascinating like I said I've met a lot of people you know and celebrities and whatnot but that was one of the most interesting encounters that I'd ever had so anyway, make a long story short, uh, I ended up taking their daughter out and uh, I assured her father that I would have her home before midnight. Whether she liked me or not, she would definitely tell them that I was a gentleman, <laughs> not like I had a choice. So I took her to Baby Doe's, if you've ever heard of that. That's in Dallas. It's up on a mountain uh, by a, uh, a railroad, like an underground railroad uh, system. I think they have one in Atlanta, too. We had a nice meal and... Uh, you know, did just as I said. I got her home before midnight, gave her a kiss on the cheek. And uh, that was the last time I talked to her. <laughs> I was like, uh, that kind of crossed the line there. Uh, she was a sweet girl, but I just don't know if I could take the pressure of uh, having those two as my potential mother and uh, father-in-law. You know what I mean? <laughs> Anyway, if you like this story, you can find me at MasteringPocketBillars.com where I show the pool side of my life with all the systems, fundamentals, and uh, techniques I've used to, to become a world champion player and help you reach your full potential. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you next time.